Josh Hutcherson is a name that's been associated with Spider-Man ever since Sony decided to reboot the franchise with The Amazing Spider-Man. And he was one of the runner-ups for that role that of course went to Andrew Garfield. And then there was rumors that he did try to get the role for the MCU, but of course it didn't happen. Now the actor opens up about playing Spider-Man for Sony's Spider-Man universe. So by all accounts, Josh himself actually got very close to playing Spider-Man, but ultimately it went to Andrew Garfield. And well, that's all history now. But prior to him being passed up, we heard that he did have a pretty decent audition, but Andrew was just slightly better for what they were looking for. And honestly, it kind of makes sense in terms of what Andrew was able to pull off, and that's exactly what they needed. I don't see Josh being able to pull off that type of mannerisms, but maybe I just haven't seen enough of his uh, acting portfolio, which I will admit is true. I haven't. I still can't remember which one of those teen post-apocalyptic style films he's in. Was it Divergent or Maze Runner or uh, The Hunger Games? I, I can never remember. I, I don't think I've seen more than one of each one of those. Either way, though, I think he's a decent enough actor in what I've seen. So recently, when he was interviewed about potential roles in the future and whether or not he still has his eyes on Spider-Man, he said he would be open to playing Spider-Man in Sony's Spider-Verse. And he says that it's just something that's always stuck with him ever since he lost the role to Andrew Garfield in 2012. And he did say that he would also love to be another one of these variants if it could work out that way. So honestly, I wouldn't mind it. You know, give him a shot. At this point, Sony's Spider-Man universe doesn't even really make a whole lot of sense. If you just try to connect the dots, you can drive trucks through so many plot holes that are there. So at this point, sure, add him in there. You know, if Andrew Garfield doesn't agree to a contract, I mean, you got somebody that fans wanted, that fans were championing, and wants to do it. Or maybe bring him into some sort of Sony attempt at a giant multiverse. Maybe if there's a Adam Webb sequel, or if they do a giant live-action Spider-Verse for Sony, he could definitely play another variant. And there's been rumors that he has talked to Sony, which can't really be confirmed, so I'm just going to take that for what it is, a rumor. But how would you guys feel about it? Do you think he would make a good modern-day Peter Parker, an older one, obviously, in the Sony Spider-Man universe, especially if Andrew doesn't want to do it? I mean, why not? Like... They got a couple actors that they looked at before, so why not give them a shot if none of the other actors want to do it? 